Alright, good morning from Southern California. <clears throat> As you can tell, it's a drizzly, dreary kind of morning. Um, I'm not usually up this early, but I'm on my way to pick up the boys, Larry and Randy. And so what I'm doing is I'm doing another prelude to the next video I'm going to put up. Um, the reason why is... <laughs> That was only my, just going into the second year of detecting, I still didn't really know how to shoot video. I still don't, but I, I think I've gotten a little better. But anyway, I was using my phone back then. And so for some reason or another, I would not do intros. So that's why I'm doing this one. It's gonna be another intro to the next video I'm going to upload from The Secret Peppers. Like I said, I've got a lot of content on that site so anyway um, also when I first got into detecting you know I was uh, I clearly didn't know what I was doing and we would find these unbelievable coins copper pennies that were just looked like they were just minted so I thought oh I'll put this on the Hoover boy Facebook and uh, you know people will be pretty excited about it well what I found out was everybody was I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people were insinuating that we were planting our coins. So that's why I mentioned that again uh, in this video. I'm way over that now, but back then, you know, I was just getting into it. Didn't realize I had opened up a can of worms. So enough chit chatting. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy this next video, and it's got my buddy Andy in it. Um, Andy had turned us on to some really good sites. One of our best was Andy's Bonanza, named after him. And so we felt, we felt uh, it was only fitting that we would hook him up with this site. So this is part of the video is here. Uh, there's I've got so much content on this video that I, I'm going to upload that I had to split it up for the next one. So anyway, enjoy and you will see what we found. Yeah, there should be an Indian head, I hope. There it is. Indian head right there. See it. That is a 190, I think it's 1901 Indian head. So there's my first coin of the day. Okay, my buddy Andy is coming. Um, talked to the boys, he said we, we decided we really owed him. So he's gonna come over here and get the detect. Hey, there's some glass, purple glass, look at that. You know what, I may have found the piece that goes to that. Hmm, well, right here, look at this. Check this out, I found that yesterday. Ooh, very cool, very cool. I don't know what that is, but I like it, but anyway. I'm getting a weedy signal somewhere in this mess of dirt clods. I think I thought I popped it. Oh, there it is, piece of metal. All right, it's supposed to rain today. Thank goodness it's it's coming in late. So anyway, I'm getting a. I'll show you. I see it right there. Weedy. 56. So yesterday Larry got a silver 1960 quarter 
so now I'm thinking that this town may have been here in the 60s you know maybe early 60s so anyway there we go We've got an Indian head and a weedy so far I think I would know by now we pulled over 300 coins out in three days uh, a good signal because there's a lot of metal it comes out scratchy that sounds like a, rip, a p weedy right there right on the button so let's see all right okay popped it whatever it is hopefully it's a coin In that clod right there. See, it's right there, whatever it is. There it is. Weedy. 1916 and oldie. There we go. 1960 Weedy. <clears throat> Getting a nickel reading. There. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Sorry. One hand. Okay, I see it right there. V nickel. <laughs> nice. Um, that is a 1889, I believe, V nickel. There you go. Backside's pretty toasted up. The front's not too bad. Okay, I was getting a 95, <clears throat> it was a piece to a mirror arm, but you always need to check your holes, and I'm actually getting a 92, a weedy signal right by it. So let's see, it should be right around here somewhere. There, I just popped it out there. Crazy, huh? See it right there. Forty-four weedy. Okay, guys. Once again, this is one of those signals that I'm like ninety-nine percent percent sure that it's a weedy. Um, the, one of the reasons, or a couple of the reasons, why I shoot videos is the main reason is for my buddies that I detect with, and then friends who like it too. So I've only got like thirteen subscribers, so that's it's obviously not about that. But what's funny is. Most of the rest of the country don't have a clue of what the coins are like coming out of here in Southern California. So we've been called um, a lot of things. You know, they're planted, there's no way. In fact, there's a guy that lives here in Southern California who's saying there's no way they can come out of like this. And I don't know where he lives, but he obviously hasn't detected where we live. So anyway, like I said, right down there, there should be a weedy. Let me dig it out and see. Now that's not to say we do have, you know, Wheaties, it'll come out green, like everywhere else. We'll have Indian heads too, but for the most part, because it's so dry in Southern California, we just don't get those real green, you know, coins all the time. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, I see it right there. See, it, guys, right over my. Right down there, you can see it right there. Popped it, and that is a 37 weedy. So look at, no patina, no green. It, you can see that obviously it wasn't planted. So, just showing you guys, this is how they come out here in Southern California. Not all of them, but for the most part, this is how the weedies. Uh, and a lot of our coins just come out really clean because we just don't get any rain. I think this year we've only gotten like one inch of rain so far, so it's pretty dry. So anyway, there you go. Okay, there should be an Indian head in here somewhere. There we go. Look at that. 1900. I think that's 1900 Indian head. So look how this one came out. No patina, but look at, I mean, it's a great looking Indian head, but uh, 
just a wild color. So anyway, Indian head. Okay, that's where I just got that Indian head and I'm actually getting another Indian head reading right over here somewhere. Let's see. No, I forgot where it was. Okay, right there. Oops, sorry guys. A lot of rocks in this area. So anyway, let's see. Should be right down there. That's a really good Indian head reading. There it is. Indian head. Um, 1870, all right, that is the oldest Indian head I've ever gotten. 1873. My previous oldest was an 1880. That was the, and that was the very first coin I detected last year, a year ago, November. So anyway, 1873 Indian head. Now I don't know when the fatties were made. I've never seen one. I'm assuming they're older, but anyway, there we go. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting lazy because of this site. I mean, this is just a, un this is like a once in a lifetime site. So I got an Indian head there. I got that 1878 Indian head there. I didn't bother to check the hole, but I'm actually getting a nickel signal down there in the hole. So, and it's a low 60, so that, that should be a V nickel. So as the tumbleweeds come flying over to me. Sorry. Let's see if I can get it in the scoop. Probably not. Might as well get down now. Oh, I popped it. There it's at. Come on, be nickel. Right there. Another Indian head. Wow. Two in the same hole. 1906. Wow, that was <laughs> three Indian heads right here within just a few feet of each other. Uh, it's uh, just unbelievable. I, I sent a message to Kurt um, from the Hoover Boys, and I, because I don't know how the, you guys do back there, you know, if you get the volume like we do here when we, when we, can, when we can find it. But, um, it's just unreal, just unbelievable. So anyway, there we go, Indian head. V nickel, V nickel. <laughs> anyway, uh, or it could be a buffalo. I'm not sure yet. It's a nickel of some sort. Anyway, Andy shows up. I haven't got any coins since. Not even a good signal. Um, and I'd already got like ten coins, I think. But anyway, there we go, right down there. V nickel. Yep. 1901 B nickel. Miracles do happen. Andy just got his first coin. What? Let's see what it is. That's a weedy. Hi. I'll take it. Yeah. Do you see the date? Not without my glasses. Okay, let me see. 1920, it looks like. All 1920 right. weedy, an oldie. There you go. Whee! You're on the board. Now, now it's got another hundred to go, right? <laughs>